Welcome to the Old Timer Centre. My name is Philip Tarrant and I'm going to be talking to you about this 1981 Mercedes-Benz 500 SL. Obviously it's convertible, you've seen the photos of the car with the roof on and off. It has a blue soft top, but the car is in particularly good condition. It's one of the best 107 series I've seen in a long, long time. It's done 55,000 miles. It is an import, obviously. The timber work is excellent, and the same goes for the interior. It starts first time every time. It's nice and smooth. It's going to a mechanic and getting a full, a Mercedes specialist and getting a full service and check over. But every panel, every light, every wheel is very good. It was part of a collection and has been in a warehouse for a, quite a few years. But literally, if, you had, if it was registered, you just turn the key and drive. The air conditioning's cold and it runs beautifully. The paintwork is excellent. And see even the tail lights are in very good condition. And the same goes for the paintwork. The hard tops in particularly good condition. And the reason why I keep talking about this is with a lot of these cars, some cars had a lot of money spent on the engine, some have had a lot of money spent on paint on the car, but not the hard top, etc. But really with this car, everything seems to be great. The paint's good, the engine's strong, the hard top is good. The soft top was replaced a few years ago. The timber work is excellent. The air conditioning is ice cold. Even the dashboard is in particularly good condition, usually full of cracks. It's just one of those very special cars, which again, I think needs to be seen to be appreciated. Uh, it's got the, the driving lights, which are certainly very nice, similar to that of a 560. Uh, the 500's a great engine. You know, with 350's and 450's, they sound great, but they just, just really lack the performance um, when you compare it to a 500 or a 560. We've had a couple of good 107's come in stock. We've even got a 280 SL. Same colour interior. So we're quite fortunate to have these very good cars in stock at the present time. Obviously it is a two-seater. The soft top works well going on and off. The hard top is easy to put on and off if you've got two people. Air, as I said, aircon's cold, everything works. If you're looking for a good car, whether you want to drive it every day, whether you want to take it to club events and drive it sparingly on the weekend or once a month, whether you're a collector and you want to put it in a warehouse, it's up to you. But in such good condition, cosmetically and mechanically, it is a car you could certainly drive every day if you really wanted to. It does have some books with it. As you can see here, and it's got a number of receipts. The gearbox is excellent. When you put it into reverse, it goes click straight into reverse. The gearbox is nice and tight. We can start it up. Again, the cluster, all the gauges are nice and orange. There we go. Didn't even use the accelerator, just turned it on and it came to life straight away. So the gearbox, reverse, straight into reverse drive, or neutral drive I should say. But normally you get clicky, you know, click, click, clack, 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 going through the gears. Obviously the bushes are very good. The power windows work very well. The gauge is nice and steady. The odometer is working. You can usually tell if it's a car where the odometer stopped working because it's been zeroed out. Timber work is excellent. And 
and it's just a very nice example. We're certainly very, very happy to offer it to you from the old timer center. We specialize in prestige European cars just like this Mercedes. I'd certainly welcome the opportunity to take for a test drive or discuss this car further with you. We are located in Sydney and my contacts will on 029569 My name is Philip and we look forward to hearing from you soon.